Hello everyone and welcome to our Yes Prep Northwest. Welcome to Yes Night. We are excited to um, have you all here so you can learn a little bit more about Yes Prep Northwest um, and hopefully um, get all your questions answered. Hola, bienvenidos a Yes. Este, estamos muy ent entusiasmados de que estén presentes aquí y esperemos de que aprendan un poco más acerca de nuestra escuela Yes Prep Northwest. So for our norms today, we want to make sure that everyone is muted so it will be easier for all participants to hear. And we will show you on the next slide how to type questions into the question box and we'll be answering those throughout the presentation or at the very end. Para nuestras normas, para esta junta virtual, queremos de que todos este, estén mutados en su micrófono, por favor, y también este, pueden preguntar preguntas uh, durante la presentación o después de la junta virtual, ahí en una cajita donde dice preguntas. So here you'll see from the, both the phone and the computer screen where you will find the question box. Uh, please note that if you're watching this on your phone, there is a 30 second delay from the live stream. So you might see a delay in either us answering your question or your question appearing in the box. Aquí también presentamos las instrucciones de en dónde buscar la cajita para preguntar preguntas este, desde su teléfono celular y desde su laptop. Uh, nada más queremos informar de que hay un este, retraso de 30 segundos si es que están usando su celular. So our agenda for today, we want to go over an overview of Yes Prep Public Schools and Yes Prep Northwest and then go through key elements of our three campus buckets of academics, academics, culture and operations. And then we'll have time for a closing and again to answer any questions that you might have. Este va a ser el conten contenido de nuestra este, junta virtual, una introducción hacia qué es, qué es las escuelas Yes Prep y Yes Prep Northwest, información académica, cultura, este, operaciones y este, al final eh, preguntas y uh, contestaciones a esas preguntas. So first off, we want to start by introducing ourselves. So this is the director's team at Yes Prep Northwest. My name is Laura Washington Dugan, and I am the principal at Yes Prep Northwest. This is my 10th year at Yes Prep and my 13th year in education. And I will be going into my third year as principal at Yes Prep Northwest. Aquí vamos a presentar a, a lo que es este, el equipo de directores. Este, ella es la uh, Principal, la directora Laura Washington Dugan tiene 10 años en lo que es el, el campo educativo y tres años con la escuela Yes Prep Northwest. Hi, my name is Jamel Bass. I'm the director of academics. This is my fifth year at Yes Prep and I've been in education for 13 and a half years. I'm happy to welcome you all to Yes Prep Northwest. As the director of academics, I'm responsible for all academic programming at Northwest. Uh, ella es la señora uh, Bass y es directora académica. Ella se encarga en todo lo que es, contiene de cursos, clases eh, académico. Ella es su este, segundo o tercer año también aquí en Yes Prep. Hi, my name is Terry Swift. I am the director of student support at Yes Prep Northwest. This is my sixth year at Yes Prep and my 11th year in education. The primary function of my job is culture and discipline systems on our campus. This is my second year at Yes Prep Northwest. Él es el señor Swift, él es el perfecto de la escuela. Ella lleva seis años con uh, lo que viene siendo Yes Prep, este, 11 años en, en el campo educativo y este, él se encarga en todo lo que es comportamiento. Hi everyone, my name is Crystal Milner and I'm the Director of Campus Operations. I manage um, overall daily camp campus operations and logistics. This is my fifth year in education and a founding hawk, so I, this, I will be going into my third year. 
es la señora Milner, ella se encarga en lo que viene siendo las operaciones escolares y la logística, y es su quinto año en el campo de educación y tercer año en lo que viene siendo en la escuela Yes Prep Northwest. So we wanted to start this off with a student spotlight so you guys could get to know uh, one of our Hawks. So this is Miss Tyler Patterson. She is currently a seventh grader at Yes Prep Northwest. She was a founding student with us last year and she wants to tell y'all why she loves Yes Prep Northwest so much. Esta es nuestra estudiante ejemplar, este, Tyler Patterson, y les va a explicar un poco de por qué le encanta Yes Prep. Sorry, y'all, we're going to having technical difficulties. Give us one second. Crystal, maybe try unmuting your computer. Yeah. All right, let's try it again. So we already know 18 is the best. I am mentioning the others because nothing's left. And schools were definitely pass the test. Y'all know who we are. Say our name, Northwest. Hello, Future Northwest families. My name is Tyler Patterson, and I am a student here at Yes Prep Northwest College Preparatory School. The reason why I love Northwest is because of its academic demands. I have been at Yes Prep Northwest since sixth grade, and we have all grown as a Hawks family. Whether you are in honesty, action, wisdom, kindness, or service, we all treat each other with respect and have a sense of competitiveness throughout the houses. What sets us apart from other schools is our exceptional principal, Ms. Dugan, who has recruited teachers and staff members who are passionate about their jobs here at Northwest. We also have an outstanding athletics department offering boys and girls soccer. Basketball, cross country, and volleyball. I have participated in volleyball, and our coach, Coach Rodriguez, has taught us to work cohesively as a team to accomplish our goal of winning. She has also taught us that it's okay if we lose and to not be a sore loser. Yes, your student should go to Yes Prep Northwest because you are assuring that your student is getting a good education to best prepare them for college and life. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Tyler. Again, she's just an exemplar, excellent student. Um, we wanted you guys to be able to hear directly from one of our um, students. So I want to be able to transition to the Yes Prep mission and vision because everything that we do as a campus aligns to the district mission and vision as well. So the vision is that every child in Houston will have equitable access to a public school that delivers an excellent college ready education. And the mission is that Yes Prep public schools will increase the number of students from underserved communities who graduate from college prepared to lead. So we really focus on academic rigor and preparedness for college. We want every student to have the ability Ability and the access to college when they graduate from high school. A continuación tenemos este, la misión y visión de nuestra escuela Yes Prep Northwest. Todo lo que es la misión y visión este, alinea todo lo que viene siendo lo de la escuela. Este, nuestra prioridad es de que cada estudiante se gradúe eh, de Yes Prep Northwest y pueda asistir a un colegio sin razón alguna. Y ahí, con, aquí tenemos este, la, la presentación en donde puede este, leer tantito sobre la visión y misión. 
And we at Yes Prep, we are a free open enrollment charter um, district serving students in Houston and surrounding neighborhoods. Uh, there are 19 campuses at Yes Prep Public Schools. We have over 6,000 students that have gone on to graduate from college from Yes Prep High Schools. And last year we had over 14,000 total students. Las escuelas Yes Prep Northwest son este, un distrito abierto escolar. Este, actualmente tenemos 19 campuses. Este, hemos tenido más de 6,000 graduados y tenemos actualmente más de 14,000 estudiantes. So we here at Yes Prep Northwest and at Yes Prep Public Schools, we are here as a choice for families and specifically Northwest is here as a choice for families in the Sci Fair boundaries. We are a small family oriented school. We focus on family communication and again college preparedness and we wanted to share some numbers from last year's accountability 2018-2019 of Yes Prep Public Schools compared to Sci Fair ISD and some things to note are our progress score. Um, our college career and military readiness rate and our overall graduation rates for both four, five and six years. Aquí eh, queremos decirle que eh, las escuelas Yes Prep Northwest son una opción para las familias en lo que viene siendo este, la línea de SciFair ISD. Este, aquí también le estamos mostrando los números de contabilidad del año pasado hacer, a comparación de otras este, escuelas del distrito pues, de SciFair. So that's Yes Prep um, as a district. We want to share more specific information about Yes Prep Northwest. So we were founded two years ago in 2018. Next year we will serve grades six through eight. So the Yes Prep model is to start in sixth grade and then build a grade level every year after that. Um, so next year our founders will be in eighth grade and we will welcome in a new class of sixth graders. We will continue that model until we are a fully grown out middle and high school. So we will offer grades six through 12. Um, and next year we will have um, a little over 380 students, which is about 125 to 150 students per grade level. So much smaller than a lot of the other middle schools in the area. La escuela Yes Prep Northwest fue fundada en el 2018. Este, el año que viene vamos a tener grados de sexto a octavo. Eh, eventualmente Yes Prep Northwest va a tener grados de sexto a doce, lo que va a ser una este, secundaria y preparatoria. Este, para el año que viene vamos a tener más de 380 estudiantes, más o menos por nivel de grado tenemos este, de 125 a 150 estudiantes. Something really important to know about Yes Prep, our, our Yes Prep Northwest, are our core values. So we are the Hawks, and each letter in Hawk stands for one of our core values, which are honesty, action, wisdom, kindness, and service. When sixth graders or new students arrive at Yes Prep, they are sorted into one of these five houses. So it's a little bit like Harry Potter. They will remain in this house for their the amount of time they stay at Yes Prep Northwest. They will sit with these other students during like breakfast and lunch, and we really think this is important to create kind of a smaller community um, or your house um, in a larger school setting. Aquí en la escuela de Yes Prep Northwest tenemos este valores, casas de valores, este cada letra de lo que viene siendo uh, los Hawks, somos los halcones, eh, representa un valor que viene siendo honestidad, acción, sabiduría, bondad y servicio. Este, cada estudiante es este, ingresada en una casa de, de estos valores y permanece en esa casa hasta que se gradúe. Durante el lunch conviven con esas, su cierta casa y con otras actividades también permanecen con sus casas también. 
we also wanted to share our um, specific campus uh, accountability from last year. So our number one goal is to make sure that students are safe on campus and prepared for college and challenged academically. And our dedicated staff is key in this mission. And I truly feel like our teachers and their hard work is shown in this slide. Um, as a first year campus, we were able to earn a B rating. And with such a small number of students that very first year, this is a huge accomplishment. Um, and again, our teachers have a lot of experience and they are extremely dedicated um, in working to support students. Aquí presentamos la contabilidad del campus Yes Prep Northwest. Eh, en nuestro primer año obtuvimos una calificación de una B. Este, esto es debido a nuestros maestros también que han apoyado mucho a nuestros estudiantes. Este, también nuestro mayor enfoque es la seguridad de los empleados y de nuestros estudiantes también. So because we're not able to see you guys on campus, we wanted to give you a quick virtual um, tour. I'm sad you're not able to see our campus. It was completely redone um, the year right before we moved in. So it is a beautiful building, but we wanted to be able to take you on a short virtual tour to give you an idea of what our building looks like. Estamos un poco tristes de que no van a poder ver nuestro edificio este, físicamente, pero quiero mencionarles de que nuestro edificio es muy hermoso y queremos mostrarles un tour virtual de nuestro edificio uh, de Escuela Yes Prep. I'm going to turn it over to our Director of Academics, um, Jamel Bass, and she's going to talk to you about our academics program at Northwest. Hi, so at Yes Prep Northwest, we believe in every classroom, every day, all students will engage in rigorous, aligned, and active learning, dramatically increasing college readiness. Hola, aquí en la escuela, en cada salón de clases, todos los días, todos los estudiantes participan en un aprendizaje riguroso, alineado y activo, aumentando dra dramáticamente su preparación para la universidad. So you might be wondering, what does the academic team do? And so we have four buckets here that I'll just highlight. We, we make sure that all teachers are learning and growing. Um, we make sure that students, they take their important tests. We make sure that our students who have special needs, they receive the accommodations that they need. And we make sure that all students who are learning English as a second language receive the appropriate accommodation. Si 
se estará preguntando qué hace Yes Prep a, académico. Este, aquí hacemos maestros aprendan y se desarrollen. Estudiantes tomen todas sus evaluaciones importantes. Estudiantes con necesidades especiales tengan las acomodidades. Estudiantes que estén aprendiendo inglés como segunda lengua reciban eh, el apoyo. We also provide um, academic resources. And so the first one is reading our reading intervention and math lab course. So at Yes Prep, all students take a reading and intervention course. Our reading intervention course um, provides all students with an opportunity to close any reading gaps that they may have in order to become proficient readers. Um, and then likewise, our math lab course is set up in a similar structure, but we use a program called ST Math to help our students um, with some of their math skills. We have our grades. Um, and then a system called Home Access Center where our parents are able to see the assignments that are being assigned along with the grades given um, by their teachers. So we encourage our families to sign up with our family portal so they can check frequently on student grades. Regarding our special education services and even our students who will who are learning English. As a set people in the academic team, our special education manager who works specifically with students and our teachers are dedicated in making sure that our students receive the services that they need to be successful with their classes. And so we have tutorials in the morning and in the afternoon to provide a smaller um, classroom structure and one-on-one -on -one services. Aquí los recursos académicos, este, cada estudiante va a tomar este, lo que viene siendo el curso de intervención de lectura y hay este apoyo adicional en matemáticas también. Uh, también hay calificaciones y aquí en Home Access Center es, es un portal en donde los padres pueden ver en línea las calificaciones de su estudiante y recomiendan que se inscriban a, a este portal. Este, también tenemos administrador de servicios de de educación especial y especialista en alfabetización. También ofrecemos tutorías, este, los maestros ofrecen tutorías de lo que viene siendo en la mañana y en la, en la tarde y ofrecen este, tutorías este, ya sea individualmente o en grupo. And then finally wanted to share a sample sixth grade schedule um, that our students have that our students will take. Um, so again, just highlighting that each student will take a read intervention course and then they would have an elective course or math lab. You may notice that for math and ELA, those are double block classes. And so they would have um, a double block for ELA and a double block for math, meaning two periods together at the same time. Aquí les mostramos un ejemplo de lo que viene siendo el sketch de, de un eh, estudiante de sexto grado. Este, um, tenemos lo que viene siendo matemáticas y inglés. Viene siendo un doble bloque. A lo que se refiere doble bloque es de que son, van a ser dos periodos. Another highlight for um, Yes Prep is Senior Signing Day. So Senior Signing Day is an opportunity for our seniors to declare what college or university um, they will um, attend. And so they're able to declare this in front of the entire um, body, the entire student body of Yes Prep along with um, their families and the staff. So after you watch this video, um, you would hear from our Director of Student Support, Terry Swift.
Hi, again, my name is Terry Swift, and I'm in charge of the culture at Northwest. Our belief at Northwest is to create a campus environment rooted in the belief that anything is possible for our students. Having a strong culture establishes rules of interaction that lead to all community members feeling valued, seen, and supported, and ensures that our school's physical environment reinforces our history, traditions, values, and, and a college-going identity. Hola, soy el señor Swift. Soy nuevamente el prefecto y me encargo de la cultura. Eh, Jesper Northwest crea un ambiente escolar que se, se basa en el pensamiento de que todo es posible para todos los estudiantes y toma acciones basadas en los valores básicos de Northwest. Una cultura escolar fuerte establece normas de interacción que conducen a que todos los miembros de nuestra comunidad se sientan valorados. As Ms. Dugan touched on on a previous slide, houses are, are a big part of our culture at Northwest. And as you can see top left photo, service unfortunately won the Hawks Cup last year. And this year, although scores are not officially tallied, it is looking like service is going to win again. Oh. Can you go back to the previous slide? Additionally, if you look at the picture below of the young lady, she's presenting to the entire student body for a position in the student council. At Northwest, our student council planned school dances, ran the school store, orchestrated the Black History Month talent show, and promoted other cultural events by making signs and selling tickets during lunch. Sandra, if you want to explain those last two. Yes. Um... Las, las casas son importantes aquí en las eh, escuelas de Prep Northwest. Um, cada, cada, ca, eh, cada el, la casa de servicio ganó la copa el año pasado. Este posiblemente también ganen este año también. Este el consejo estudiantil también se encarga y promueven lo que viene siendo los eventos escolares. Aquí presentamos algunas fotos de las personas que uh, participan en, en, en el consejo estudiantil. If you look at the two middle pictures, throughout the month of September and February, our school participated in a Hispanic Heritage and Black History Month. Throughout these months, students had the opportunity to dress in traditional and historical clothing. Each house culturally decorated their homeroom door, and our Northwest families came together for a potluck. For Black History Month, we ended the month with an awesome talent show where students and teachers performed in our black box stage in the gym. It was super fun. Aquí eh, podemos ver dos fotos en medio, en las de medio. Este, aquí también celebramos lo que viene siendo el mes de la hispanidad. Los estudiantes se, se, se visten a cómo es su cultura, sus tradiciones. Y también este, tenemos el mes de, de la cultura afroamericana. También eh, tuvimos un show de talentos en el cual participaron muchos estudiantes y maestros también. You can click to the next slide. Additionally, at Northwest, we host two school dances and two field trips per year, one in the fall and one in the spring. Additionally, once a six weeks, we give out honor roll and perfect attendance certificates to our students and the Hawks Core Value Awards for a student who exemplified one of our core values. These celebrations happen in front of their entire grade level. Algo también acerca de la cultura escolar es de que tenemos dos viajes escolares por año que se eh, toman en lo que viene siendo en la primavera y otoño. Y también tenemos este, uh, uh, certificaciones a los estudiantes que obtuvieron AS y BES y también a los estudiantes que han atendido diariamente a la escuela. Les, les, les este, festejamos a esos estudiantes también en frente de todos los estudiantes. Next slide. So the team that I lead is called the culture team. It is made up of myself, the student support counselor, and our three grade level chairs who individually serve as a teacher lead on their grade level. Next. 
El equipo que yo dirijo viene eh, considerado lo que viene siendo la Consejería de Apoyo Estudiantil, jefes de nivel de grado este, y un grupo de participación familiar también. We also have an ever-growing family engagement group, which is made up of Northwest families. This group meets monthly with myself and our student support counselor to plan and execute campus events such as potlucks, book fairs, school dances, concessions at our athletic events, etc. And if you all have any interest in joining this awesome group next year, please let me know at Hawks Camp in this coming August. Tenemos también el grupo de participación familiar en el cual se encarga de, por ejemplo, eventos escolares como la feria de libros, bailes escolares, etcétera. Si ustedes gustan este, participar en este grupo de eh, participación familiar, por favor, avísenle al señor Swift cuando comience el año escolar en este agosto. So this is our awesome student support counselor. Her name is Natalie Biddle. And some of the things that she does around campus is provide students with social emotional support. She responds to staff, student and family referrals. She leads group and individual counseling and she connects with families for outside community resources. Ella es nuestra ejemplar consejera de apoyo estudiantil, la señora Vero. Uh, lo que viene siendo sus funciones de ella viene siendo proporciona apoyo social y emocional a los estudiantes, responda a las necesidades de los estudiantes, las familias y de todo el equipo, consejería individual y de grupo, conecta a las familias con recursos comunitarios. At Northwest, we have a system of merits and demerits to hold our students accountable. Our merits are directly aligned to our core values. So throughout each day, a student can earn merits by exhibiting one of our core values. And with these merits, students can buy jeans passes or super free dress passes, free seating at lunch, free classroom seating, homework passes, etc. And then once a six weeks, we have a big school store where we sell notebooks, pens, pencils, teddy bears, chips, candy, basketballs, soccer balls, uh, etc. Where students during lunch, they can buy these items with the merits that they earned. Aquí en la escuela Yes Prep eh, Northwest tenemos el sistema de méritos y de méritos para alinear nuestras, este, nuestros valores este, a los estudiantes que obtienen este, méritos. Pueden este, comprar este, dulces, eh, snacks, papas, en lo que viene siendo en la tienda escolar que está ubicada en la cafetería y también son recompensados con otras este, sorpresas también los estudiantes que obtienen este, méritos. When these positive behaviors are not being upheld, we have a behavior systems where students earn demerits and detentions. Below are the 15 behavioral infractions a student not only can earn on our campus, but on all YesPrep campuses. These behaviors exist in three different buckets that align to our YesPrep core values. School pride and safety, focus on learning, and kindness and respect. I will give you guys a minute to read through the variety of ways in which a student can earn a demerit at Yes Prep. Aquí mostramos este, los deméritos y detención. Este, aquí mostramos ejemplos en los cuales uh, los estudiantes pueden obtener deméritos basado a, a ciertos uh, comportamientos aquí alistados. 
tomen un min minuto para revisar y leer ciertos okay, este, Sandra, comportamientos. So at Yes Prep Northwest, we also use a um, different an app. It's called Hero, and this helps students and families track a student's points progress for both merits and demerits um, on campus. It's you can have download it both on your phone and on the computer, and it's a great way to see how your student and from who your student is earning merits and the behaviors that they might be um, exhibiting that is having them earn demerits at campus. Okay, I'm back. Can you all hear me? Yes, we can. I already did the uh, hero slide. Gotcha. Um, so at Yes Prep Northwest, we do have a uniform policy, and each day students will be required to wear the following. A Northwest polo tucked in with a belt, black, gray, or khaki pants or shorts, no denim jeans. We do offer Northwest outerwear that students can buy and wear throughout the day, but it has to be official Yes Prep Northwest outerwear. An ID must be worn around their neck with our campus lanyard, and shoes must be closed toed. To the right of this slide are two student exemplar uniform outfits, and below is a link that you can write down in where you can purchase the uniform. Aquí les mostramos dos fotos ejemplares del cual eh, cómo se debe de vestir un estudiante. Aquí tenemos este, la póliza de uniformes en el cual los estudiantes deben de usar una polo, uh, deben de usar este, pa eh, pants de casuales, ya sea khaki o negros o grises. Este, aquí no aceptamos pantalones de mezclilla. También este, uh, los estudiantes deben de usar su identificación estudiantil alrededor de su cuello. También aquí ofrecemos, este, uh, pueden comprar este, lo que viene siendo uh, chamarras de Jesper Northwest para el tiempo de invierno. Y también los zapatos deben de estar cerrados. Aquí no aceptamos sandalias. Hawks Camp. So each year we welcome our incoming sixth graders to Hawks Camp a week before school actually begins. Here students have the opportunity to meet and start building relationships with their fellow Hawks. They learn about Northwest Hawks systems and they get familiar with our campus, meet their incoming sixth grade teachers, and most importantly, they get sorted into their houses. Aquí tenemos el campamento de Hawks. Este viene siendo una bienvenida a, a los nuevos alumnos a Jesper Northwest. Introducción a los procedimientos y rutinas de Northwest. Presentación de los maestros de cada grado y clasificación por casas de los halcones. So up next, um, we're going we're gonna to show you all a video of our sixth grade English teacher um, who we spotlighted to show you what it's like at Northwest. Aquí les vamos a mostrar un video de nuestra maestra de lectura de sexto grado para que ella nos diga cómo es estar en Jesper Northwest. Yes, no, they're new. Sorry about that. Well, hello there. I'm Miss Bert 
Jane, and I am a sixth grade ELA teacher at Yes Prep Northwest, and I'm here to welcome you to our beloved school. We have a lot of fun here. We're all about positivity and going to college, right? Or joining the military or getting that dream job, and it all starts right here. I'm just here to welcome you. I'm super excited to meet all of you, and I'm just one person on our dynamic sixth grade team. I know you can't wait to meet your math teacher, your ELA teacher, your social studies teacher, your science teacher. We're all a pretty good team, if I do say so myself. So there's nothing to worry about. We are here for you. You're part of our new family. We are the Hawks here now, okay? We are the Hawks, and I am a part of the service team. Service! Okay! <laughs> okay, but there's no bias here. There's no bias, even though service will win everything next year and um, action won't win a thing. Um, just a little friendly competition. As you guys see, you will be assigned to a house, honesty, action, wisdom, kindness, service. And if you're lucky, you'll be in service with me. <laughs> But no, really, we are about school pride here. We are the Hawks, like I said, here at Yes Prep Northwest. You'll be assigned to a certain house. You'll make new friends and meet your new teachers, and it'll just be a great time, right? As long as we continue to wash our hands. <laughs> so I can't wait to meet you guys. Keep smiling, have a great summer, and get ready for sixth grade. Bye, guys. So up next is our is back to Miss Dugan. Huge shout out to Ms. Burton for doing that for us. She is an excellent member of our sixth grade team. Um, we love having her as a hawk. So we wanted to highlight um, our athletics at Yes Prep Northwest. So Coach Davis is our athletics coordinator. We just started the athletics program this year. Both sixth and seventh graders can participate. Um, and we do offer boys and girls basketball, boys and girls soccer, girls volleyball, boys and girls cross country. And new next year, we will offer boys and girls track and field as well. Aquí en Yes Prep Northwest, los equipos deportivos son dirigidos por el entrenador Davis. Ofrecemos actualmente básquetbol masculino y femenino, fútbol masculino y femenino, voleibol femenino, cross country masculino y femenino y atletismo masculino y femenino. And then just to highlight some of the different thing, um, accomplishments of our teams for this year. Our girls cross country team was runner up at the district championship. Our boys basketball team won their holiday tournament and we had multiple teams finish with a winning season. Um, we also had the highest academic eligibility rate in the district, which was a huge, a huge accomplishment, especially because we only had sixth and seventh grade last year or this year. And we were playing against teams with fully grown out middle schools with sixth, seventh and eighth graders on the teams. Acerca de nuestras este, metas cumplidas de los deportes, este, el equipo femenino de Cross Country recibió el segundo puesto en el campeonato dis distrital. El equipo masculino de básquetbol ganó el uh, Gold Division Holiday Tournament. Este, varios equipos terminaron la temporada eh, victoriosos este, y también Yes Prep Northwest eh, tiene la tasa de, de elegibilidad más alta en todo el distrito y esto es un logro muy grande porque competimos con otros campos que ya tienen este, más grados y en ese entonces no, nada más nosotros teníamos sexto y séptimo. And now we'll go to Ms. Milner who will go over our campus operations. Hello everyone, greetings from myself and the rest of the operations team. So my name is Ms. Milner and as the director of campus operations, I am primarily responsible for the overall daily operations of our campus, vendor management, and with the help of the rest of the team, ensure your students are provided a safe, welcoming and nurturing environment. 
Our registrar, Ms. Estrada, manages our student da data, records, enrollment, withdrawal, and grades. Our certified medical assistant, Ms. Mendoza, manages our clinic and student health records, as well as medical screenings, as well as connects families to community health resources. And then our receptionist, Ms. Mogel, manages the front desk and acts as the, per the primary contact for general campus questions. Hola, de, hola a todos, parte mía de la señora Milner y por parte de mi equipo. Este, mi equipo consiste en que viene siendo yo la directora de uh, las operaciones del campus. Este, mi eh, trabajo es la logística y la seguridad del campus. Este, tenemos también a nuestra registradora, la señora Estrada. Ella se encarga en lo que viene siendo las inscripciones, la lotería y las calificaciones. Este, también tenemos una asistente médica en el campus. Ella también se encarga la señora Mendoza también se encarga de lo que viene siendo la salud de los estudiantes y de los este, maestros también empleados. Este, también tenemos nuestra recepcionista, la señora Muguel, que viene siendo, este, ella se encarga de lo que viene siendo las llamadas telefónicas y es nuestra, uh, nuestra cara en, cuando usted entra a la oficina de la escuela. So these are our current school, well, this will be our school information for the 2020-2021 school year. Our school hours, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, are 8.30 a.m. to 4.15 p.m. As well as our front office hours, we will be open from 8 a.m. to 4.15 p.m. And then on Wednesdays, we're open from 8.30 a.m. till 3 o'clock. And the front office is open from 8 a.m. to 3.15. I've also included our address information below, as well as our telephone number. Currently, our calling hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., and then our fax telephone number. And feel free to visit us at our website just to check us out. You can review our current parent notes that go out and just keep up with daily information or information that comes out about updates on campus at www.northwest.yesprep.org. Aquí tenemos la información este, de este año escolar 2020-2021. El horario de la escuela va a ser lunes, martes, jueves y viernes de 8 y media a 4.15. Los miércoles uh, los estudiantes salen más temprano, 8 y media a 3 de la tarde. El horario de oficina es lunes, martes, jueves y viernes de 8 de la mañana a 4.15 y los miércoles de 8 de la mañana a 3.15. Aquí también incluimos lo que viene siendo la dirección de la escuela, el número telefónico de las oficinas de la, de la escuela. Ahorita actualmente este, el horario de la oficina escolar es de 9 a 12 de la tarde. También incluimos este, nuestra página de Yes Prep Northwest. Eh, por favor, revise esta, esta página que incluye mucha información este, útil. So our transportation, our, tra our bus transportation is provided through a third party company called First Student. Currently we have listed our bus routes that are available as of now. And every year our bus stops are assessed and stops are added from our district based on the addresses within our zone. So for those who are interested in utilizing our bus transportation, if your address is less than two miles from our campus and within our zone, you will not have an assigned bus stop. Contrary to that, if your address is greater than two miles, but still within our zone, a bus stop will be provided in a communal area based on location. And then for all of our addresses outside of our zone, unfortunately, a stop is not provided. But if you are able to pick up or drop off your student at the stop that is closest to you, we will pick up or drop them off for you at, from the school to and from the school. You're also able to track our buses via our bus tracker, which is a first view app, and that information will be provided at the beginning of the school year. 
Aquí este, tenemos este, um, nuestro transporte. Nuestro transporte es provido por una compañía que se llama First Student. Este, posiblemente el próximo año escolar este, se añaden más rutas y paradas. Este, los que viven fuera de nuestra área, este, lamentablemente no podemos proveerle una, una parada cerca de su domicilio, pero, pero tiene la opción de ir a cualquier parada que usted guste y ahí dejar a su estudiante para que el, el camión escolar lo pueda recoger. Este, también puede um, checar el estatus del, del camión escolar, como a qué horas va a estar llegando, a qué horas este, va a estar llegando en la mañana o en la tarde, por una aplicación que se llama First View. Y en esa, para poder este, aplicar o registrarse a esa aplicación, también podemos ayudarle en, en lo que viene siendo la oficina eh, escolar. If riding the bus is not an option for you and your family, that is completely okay. There are also other ways to ensure that your students can make it to school daily. We have below a list of different private transportation or carpooling that are available to students currently. So we do have students that carpool from uh, with other families, as well as a few of our families utilize side rides. This does have a cost associated with it, but they do pick up and drop off directly from the home to the school and vice versa, as well as the YMCA, which also does have a cost associated with it, and they do provide after school care. And then the Salvation Army, which does have free transportation, but that is based on criteria. And we also have the websites where you can visit each. Aquí también presentamos opciones alternativas de transporte. Este, si usar el camión escolar no es su, un, una opción para usted, está totalmente bien. Tenemos eh, lo que viene siendo transporte privado o, o, o compartir viajes con otras familias. Este, también uh, tenemos Sarrides, que es este, un servicio particular de transporte en van, el cual si sí hay un costo. También tenemos YMCA, este, también el cual también hay un costo. Cuidado después del horario escolar. Este, también tenemos a Salvation Army, eh, que viene siendo un servicio gratuito disponible basado en criterio. También aquí incluimos este, los sitios web para que usted obtenga más información. So our lottery registration. We will not have an in-person registration day as in previous years. We are asking that all documents are uploaded online. For families that are in offered, accepted, and registration in progress, we ask that you please complete your forms by Friday, May 15th. In order to complete them, you just log into your Schoolman account and you can upload your documents there. For families that were registration completed but did not upload their documents, your status was changed from registration completed to registration in progress in order to allow you to upload your documents. For registration help and or lottery questions, please reach out to our registrar, Carolina Estrada, at her email and telephone number provided. I also want to let you know that we highly encourage you to complete your registration at this time, but please know that by accepting a seat with us, you do not lose a seat with your home campus should you choose not to attend with us. La lotería y la registración. Este, este año escolar este, tendremos el evento de registración en persona como este, um, los detalles serán comunicados después. Familias que tienen aplicaciones con ofrecimiento que han aceptado un puesto o han este, completado su registración deben completar las formas de registración en línea y subir los documentos requeridos antes del viernes este 15 de mayo para completar su registración en línea ingrese a su cuenta de Schoolment este y si tiene algunas preguntas o dudas o necesita ayuda acerca de la registración o lotería comuníquese con la, nuestra registradora la señora Carolina Estrada aquí también dejamos este su información de contacto este también queremos dejarle saber de que si es que usted acepta un puesto aquí en Yes Prep Northwest y luego decide no no atender aquí a Yes Prep Northwest este no va a perder su puesto en lo que viene siendo su, su escuela local
on for y'all to be aware of some upcoming dates hawks camp is right now is scheduled to be the first week i'm um, sorry the week of august 10th and the first day of school monday august 17th with everything that is going on right now please know that these dates may be subject to change and if they do we will communicate that with you um, via schoolman or via email so just be you know look on the lookout for additional communication Este, fechas importantes que se eh, pre, previenen, este, el campamento de Hawks, que viene siendo la semana de a, a 10 de agosto. El primer día de clases viene siendo lunes 17 de agosto. Este, actualmente posiblemente puede que estas fechas cambien debido a la situación, pero en cuanto, si es que cambian, nosotros notificaremos a los padres. And then just in terms of what's next, um, completing registration and uploading documents. Um, again, being on the lookout for Hawks Camp logistic, Logistics. And then in early August, when the teachers come back um, to campus or when we come back together as a staff, we will also be sharing um, a supply list for what students will need um, for their specific grade level. Que sigue, eh, complete la registración en línea la logística del campamento de Hawks y también este, espere la lista de útiles escolares hasta el mes de agosto en cuanto los maestros regresen de sus vacaciones. And then just to let y'all know that we do still have seats available for sixth through eighth grade for next year. Um, this is the website. If you have family members or friends or neighbors or people at church who you think might be interested in, in learning more about Yes Prep Northwest or in sending their student here, um, we would love to answer any questions that they have or have them fill out an application at this website. And if you refer a friend and they end up enrolling at Northwest, please send us a message on our Facebook page with your name and the new student's name. And next year, we will purchase you um, a campus polo for your student to wear. Aún hay puestos disponibles para el año, este, para el año escolar de, de los grados sexto a octavo. Por favor, traten de uh, recomendar, referir a familiares, amistades, este, lo más que puedan. Este, aquí dejamos este, la, el sitio web en donde se tienen que inscribir y también queremos dejarles saber si es que usted refiere a, a un amigo y llega a ser aceptado, por favor, mándenos un, un, un mensaje de Facebook y les vamos a este, poder comprar una polo, una polo para, para su estudiante. And then please follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Um, we try to post updates there. I'm currently posting weekly updates um, for our distance learning program that we're currently doing, um, but we post pictures of students, campus updates, fun things that are happening with virtual learning or when we're back on campus. So we definitely recommend that you follow us. Por favor, síguenos en nuestras redes sociales. Contamos con cuentas de Facebook e Instagram y este, incluimos esta información útil para, para los padres y estudiantes también. And then we're going to get to questions, but we wanted to go over some frequently asked questions first. Um, I think, Sandra, because these are already um, translated, you don't need to translate after me. Um, so big question is, how will the start of the 2020-2021 school year look? Um, our home office is currently monitoring the situation as well as working with our surrounding larger districts. And we'll let families know as soon as we have updates, our number one priority is the safety of our students and staff. Um, and then we went over registration documents. We would like those to be uploaded no later than this Friday, May 15th. Um, if you are having issues uploading, please reach out to our registrar, Ms. Carolina Estrada. Um, and then if you would like to see our academic calendar, you can find that on our the Yes Prep website. Um, it's under the Parents tab, and you can find that there as well as links to all of our campuses and other important information. And then electives for middle schoolers. So next year, sixth graders will take uh, technology, seventh graders will take PE, and then for our eighth grade students, they will actually take two electives. One will be a split between principles of information and technology with health. And for that course, they will actually earn a high school credit and start their GPA. So they will enter ninth grade already having um, a high school credit. And then um, they will also take a choice elective and there's a variety of options for them to choose from.
Um, is there GT testing? We do not offer a specific gifted and talented or K-class program. We do test for literacy and math intervention levels. And as Jamel spoke to, all of our students are enrolled in an additional reading intervention class based on their, their fluency and grade level um, reading level. Um, we will also offer multiple AP classes for high school students as we grow. And we talked about uniforms. All uniform tops, polos, and outerwear must be ordered at our um, campus logo shop website. Um, the pants can obviously be purchased at any like normal store. Um, we are using, we don't use STAR to determine specific class placements. Again, we'll do literacy testing and math testing at the beginning of the year to determine reading intervention and math lab placement. Um, and then students can use any type of backpack on our campus as long as it is school appropriate. Um, and we don't have specific updated transportation information, but we do have our current bus route, as Ms. Milner spoke to. Um, some of that will remain the same and we will add stops onto that, but please continue to check our Facebook page and our campus website closer to the beginning of the school year when we update that information. And thank you all so much for joining us as on our in our virtual new to yes, new to yes prep Northwest night. We will stick around to answer any questions that you may have. Oh, a question that did come up in the chat was about field trips. So in the past, the places that we have gone, our very first year, um, we did a college visit. We really like our students to visit at least one college a year or at least one college within their first two years with us. So we went to Sam Houston State University and let them walk around campus and have a tour guided by our um, teachers. Um, we've also gone to um, fun places like uh, it's what was it called? Um, Speedies. We went to um, like Speedies. They had go-karts. They had um, laser tag. This year before our COVID-19 um, closure, we were planning uh, field trips to main event. We were planning our field day for the end of the year um, and we were also potentially planning a second field trip for um, after main event for the end of the year. Sorry, Sandra, that was a lot to translate. Eh, tenemos una pregunta acerca de los este, viajes escolares. Un padre preguntó a, a dónde han ido. Este, eh, básicamente hemos ido a colegio. Por ejemplo, fuimos al colegio Sam Houston State University. Tratamos de involucrar a los estudiantes a que vean las opciones de, de universidades, colegios. También hemos ido al a lugar de diversiones Speedy Go-Karts, en donde tienen este, máquinas de jugar, go-karts y se entretienen los estudiantes y también este antes de que sucediera esta situación del coronavirus este planeábamos a, en ir a, al main event donde también este donde se iban a entretener los estudiantes con las máquinas el boliche y etcétera Someone asked about recess time. We don't have any um, like structured or planned recess time. We do have passing period between classes and we also have a 30 minute lunch. Um, while that isn't recess, it does give students ample time to um, again, sit with their house, eat with their friends, communicate, talk. Um, and then there will be different things throughout each six weeks period planned. Um, whether we have morning homeroom time um, in the early morning, they will we'll do family gathering and different like house competitions. Um, throughout the week, throughout the weeks. Este, un padre preguntó acerca de que si tienen horario de recreo, aquí no ofrecemos re recreo. Este, so, hay 30 minutos de, de lunch en el cual los estudiantes comen sus, con sus amistades. Este, también tenemos de, de, el, el tiempo de dos a tres minutos en el cual el estudiante va de en clase en clase también. Este, uh -huh. Um, on the chat, someone asked, when are we coming to Yes Prep and then students protocol? Can you clarify specifically what you are wanting to know? Um, sixth graders, do sixth graders take laptops to campus with them? As of uh, right now, no. Um, students can bring technology, but we ask after that they leave anything very valuable at home. We have laptop carts on campus and we're actually going to be increasing the number of those laptop carts next year. So in reading intervention and in math lab, those will be the two classes where they are most likely um, going to use those. And then the carts are actually also available to teachers to use um, in lessons if they need them. 
Un papá preguntó si los estudiantes de sexto grado pueden llevar laptops a la escuela. Este, no, este, en la escuela ofrecemos laptops este, para que los maestros puedan usar con sus estudiantes para las este, eh, lecciones académicas. Yep. Um, when are we coming to the school? Again, dates are still being decided by the home office as the current COVID-19 situation um, unfolds. And so we would communicate that in terms of Hawks Camp um, and any dates that we were going to be open. Um, again, registration is happening online this year, um, but we are hoping we will be back next school year. Um, but we would want to get guidance from our home office and from the other districts before um, we give out a date. Un padre preguntó cuándo vamos a, a poder ir a, físicamente a la escuela. Este, básicamente ahorita no sabemos, este, el dis distrito está decidiendo acerca de esa decisión y acerca de una fecha exacta. Yep. So, actually, final date or actual date to be determined. Um, Sandra, you might... Sandra, Crystal, you might be able to ask, answer, do we have until the start of the school year to get immunizations, immunizations completed? So we will be working at the beginning of the year to get immunizations updated and completed, but if you have the capacity to take your student now to get their shots, especially like their 11-year-old shots, um, if they're going from fifth to sixth grade, we highly encourage that. Um, but we will be taking in your shot records and seeing what needs to be done. Un padre preguntó acerca de las eh, vacunas escolares. Este, si, te, si tenemos eh, hasta el principio eh, del primer día de escuela para poder este, completar las vacunas. Este, básicamente, si, si es que ustedes ya tienen el tiempo de poder ir a llevar a sus estudiantes a lo que viene siendo el verano, eh, puede, puede llevarlo. Y si no puede, está muy bien. Este, nosotros entendemos la situación y este, vamos a esperar hasta, hasta, hasta que ustedes puedan. Are there any more questions? Yeah, any other questions we can answer? Más preguntas que podamos contestar? Okay, if that is all the questions that we have, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, if you have additional questions that come up, please reach out to our front office between 9 and 12, Monday through Friday. Um, we look forward to seeing you all in person. We look forward to you guys joining the Hawks family. And thank you again for attending. Have a great evening. Ok, sí, ya esas todas son las preguntas. Este, les agradecemos de tomar su tiempo en poder asistir a esta junta virtual de Bienvenida Yes. Si tienen alguna otra pregunta adicionalmente, este, pueden comunicarse con nuestra oficina escolar de 9 a 12 de la tarde y esperemos que puedan formar de nuestra familia de, de, de halcones.